Okay, this is Dr. Scott Geller. It's Fort Myers, Florida. I am the uh, floater go-to guy, I think, uh, with lasers, certainly. And it's uh, the first week of July, 2019 now, time flies. I first saw our great patient from Cape Coral, Florida, in April. Uh, when, after your cataract surgery, did you have this onset of the floaters? Immediately. And that was how many years ago again? About 10. But they progressively got... 10 years, yeah. And, and what you had was this big fluffy mass in the center and and a hyaline opacity. Uh, it, normally they're ring structured, but in your case it was a little more oblong yeah. and solid. So what did the other doctors say about that? Uh, well, a couple, a couple months after my surgery on my left eye, I was getting light flashes. So I went in and they did laser treatment, mm -hmm. which you... Yeah, I saw that. showed me that it was done. And I lived with him. I I, 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 uh, I think I saw him once, and he said, there's not a lot you can do about it. And then I read Dr. Gallagher's... Yeah, something. Uh, but I've been doing, I, I've been doing this a long time. I was sitting time. in a doctor's office, and I saw your floater ad. Yeah, so yeah. So, so basically, uh, I did four laser sessions. You had a big, fluffy cotton ball mass in the center, and that other opacity. And, and what's your opinion of it now? It's considerably less, but yeah. I still have yeah, uh, of mass course. floating around. And, and there always is something. You've had a posterior a PVD, we call it a posterior vitreous detachment or separation. And the vitreous gel is never 100% clear, but this is an easy process. It's not a vitrectomy. There's no risk of infection. Uh, uh, my comp I rarely have a complication. Let's put it that way. I've been doing this for a long, long time. And you're a happy patient. That's what counts. Right. I, uh, it's, it's considerably better. Okay. And maybe you'll be back next year for more treatments. <laughs> maybe so. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope everything stays perfect.